my fellow Benue brothers and sisters, I'm very pained at what is going on in Benue and Nigeria at large. I wanted to put my thoughts on paper, but I'm too pained. I'm very angry, very sad, very frustrated that I can't put my emotions on paper and I felt a video might be more appropriate. What must we do? That is the question on everybody's mind. That is the question on my mind. What must we do? It is no longer news that we are under attack by these suspected Fulani headsmen terrorists who many have believed that are colluding with the federal government, the military and the police to kill our people. What must we do? That is the question. Should we continue to carry out protests? I don't think so. Because we've done that, we've submitted the petition, yet all in vain. What must we do? Now, a lot of us, myself inclusive, have agitated for people to get their PVC and vote out this incompetent government come 2019. But my brothers and sisters, please think about this very, very carefully. 2019 is a long way from now. Now, think about this, like I said. One person killed today is one vote less at kicking out this incompetent government. Two people killed, two votes less. And how many people have been killed? Do the numbers and see. You will see that by the time we get to 2019, we won't have the required numbers to vote these people out. So the time to act is now. We can't wait for 2019. I'm sure my fallen brothers and sisters, God bless their soul, who were killed in the course of this crisis, in the course of these attacks, I'm sure they all hoped to use their PVC come 2019, but today that hope is dashed. That hope is finished because they are no longer alive. So what must we do? We can't wait for 2019. You will recall that the National Assembly was invaded by some hoodlums who stole the maze. What did the National Assembly do? What did they do? They asked the IG of police, they gave him 24 hours to make sure that the maze is recovered and the perpetrators arrested. Did that happen or not? Yes, it did. Within 24 hours, they were arrested and the maze was recovered. So, when it concerns their own safety, their own security, they take actions that bring about positive results. But when it comes to you and I, they leave us to our fate. What must we do? Now, I'll say that because when it comes to their own safety and security, they take desired actions. I want to agitate. I want to request. I want to suggest that we now seek refuge in their private residences because that is where there is security. They have security in their private residences. So we go on to occupy the governor's house. We go on to occupy the senator's houses. We go on to occupy the House of Rep Members' houses because they have security there. We don't have security. And I'll also suggest that we go to the IDP camps to get everybody there to occupy their private residences. I'm telling you, if you see the situation at the IDP camps, there's nothing home to write about. If you take them to the gates of the senator's houses, the gates of the House of Remembrance houses, if you take them to the gates of the governor's house, you will see that where they will be will be heaven on earth compared to the situation back at the IDP camps. The time to act is now. And I'm sure if we occupy their private residences whilst they are um, in Abuja there, they will start taking the right actions. What actions do we need them to take? We need them to move motions of impeachment. We need them to start lobbying other senators to make sure that the anti-open grazing bill becomes a national law and not just a state law. Because as it is now, Benue State doesn't have state police. So that when these people flaunt or violate these laws, nothing, nobody is arrested. And the killings continue. So we need them to rally around their senators, rally around the governors and get the National Assembly to pass a law that makes the anti-open grazing law, anti-open grazing bill a national law that everybody must respect. And if people violate it, they are brought to book. Because the president's inactions clearly suggest that he is colluding with this alleged terrorist headsman. So, my brothers, my sisters, we must act now. 
the time to act is now. Let us forget politics. Let us forget party affiliations because we have to speak with one voice. We have to come as one Benue. Benue is the only home we've got. We've got no other land. We have to protect it. We have to defend it. Please, let's take this action now. Let's occupy their private residences until they take the desired result or actions that we want or that will lead to a positive result. That is what we ask now. Please, let's speak with one voice. God bless you. Thank you.